inshallah, the first part in using verbs correctly, we are going to talk about the main points such as we have tenses. Then the second part will be about troublesome verbs. Then finally we have active and passive voice. So, let's start by tenses. What is a tense? A tense is the time that show an action or a state of being expressed by a verb. So when we come to talk about tense, it shows the time of the action or the state of being. We have six main tenses. They are present, past, future, then we have the perfect one of these verbs, they are present, dot be, perfect, past, past dot be, and future, Perfect, the same. So, talking about the present, here we have the verb in the main form of the base form, such as talk, or it can be adding with the singular pronoun, we have talks, like go and goes, eat and eats. So, all of them are in the present. What about the past one here we have? will be told by adding ed if it's regular verb or some verbs like went go and the past is went as irregular verb so here are verbs in the past what about the future one we have well plus the infinitive form of a verb so it will be will talk will talk well play, well go. So, well followed by the infinitive form of a verb. The perfect one here of the present, we have the form of have and has plus the past participle. Or we call it the third form of a verb. The past participle or the third form of a verb. So we have, for example, talk, talk, and talk. So the third one will be have, talk. Or it can be has, in the singular one. Has, talk, or have, talk, in the perfect. What about the past one? The past we have here, had, talk. have, had, to, as shows a past perfect, had and followed by the third form of a verb. So what about using the verb go? In the past it was when. What about if I use it in any one of the perfect, it will be the third form of it is gone. So we can say have gone or has gone, the same had gone, or in the future perfect we use it as will have told or will have gone. Here are the six main tenses we have. So you may ask now about how can I differentiate between the present and the present perfect in meaning. The present perfect one, it showed an action that happened in the past, but it still has an effect in the present. For example, we may have this sentence when I say my mom has 
Good. Food for lunch. So here, we have two meanings. The first one that the food finished. She prepared all the food. The second that the food is ready right now. So it shows in this one an action that happened in the past but still is to the recent time. I have just eaten. I have just drunk. They show you an action that happened, but still to the rest, recent time. What about the past one, the past perfect? It shows that an action happened in the past before another action in the past. So we have two actions in the past. One in the perfect that happened first. And the second will be in the past only. To know the difference between the past and the past perfect, we have a sentence here. After he had finished his homework, yes, he watched. TV. So we have here in this sentence two actions. What happened? First, that he had finished his homework first, then the second that he watched TV. In the first one, it was a perfect, the past perfect one, and the second one is the only past or the past simple. Here is the difference between the past and the past perfect. The same when we come to the future and the future perfect, it shows two actions, one happened before another in the future. Two actions that will happen in the future, one happened before the other in the future. Then we come here to the second part, which is the progressive tenses. The progressive one, it shows a continuous verb that it's not stop, okay? So it shows a progressive one that it doesn't stop. So let's see, we have the present progressive, then the past progressive, then future progressive, and the present perfect progressive past perfect progressive and future perfect progressive so let's start with the present one it has any one or any form of verb to be in the present followed by the ing so such as is playing What about in the past? Any form of verb to be, but in the past, followed by the ing. So it will be will play, was playing or were playing. In the future, it will be will be yes playing. What about that present perfect progressive? We have. Any form of verb to be followed by have and the ing. So it will be have been, then the ing have been eating or has been eating. The past is had been, then the verb with ing, and finally, well have been then plus the verb ing so here are the progressive forms of a verb that show a continuous one finally we have what we call the emphatic one the emphatic form of a verb it happened only in the present and the past 
It doesn't happen in the future. And it only consists of do, does, or did, according to the verb. So if it's a prison, it will be do or does. If it's in the past, it will be did. Followed by the base form of a verb. So, do eat, do swim, does eat, does swim, did drink, did play. Here is the emphatic form of a verb and it happened only in the present and it can happen in the past. And it's used to emphasize the meaning of a verb. It's used to emphasize the meaning of a verb. So, let's review our lesson today. Today we start to talk about tenses, the six main tenses, present, past, future, and the perfect form of these verbs. Then we come to the progressive form of these verbs, the present, the past, future, and the perfect one of these forms. Then finally, we come to emphatic verbs and how can we use the emphatic form of a verb in the present and the past. By the end of our session today, I would like to thank you all for good listening and waiting for you inshallah in the coming sessions. See you guys.